All right, for you guys, when you're heading into a game like this where on paper you are obviously the, the stronger team, what, what's the focus for, for you and what do you want to see out of the girls in this the game? The focus needs to be on us, not mm -hmm. so much the other team. It needs to be on, there's areas we really need to improve. Uh, there's areas that we need to get better at and, uh, you know, focus on that more than the other team. What are those areas? Uh, without giving away a game plan here, what is well, it that you guys look to build Well, the areas is we need to be able to execute in the half court better, mm -hmm. come off picks better, set better picks, uh, don't give up so many offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, we watched film yesterday of our last game against Duquesne. I mean, we, we didn't block out half the time. So those are things we have to get better at when we play better teams. So, you know, that gives us an opportunity Saturday. Now, this team Saturday will play hard. They'll, they'll show us some things we haven't seen. They go one, two, two, trap, three quarter and half court. So that's something we'll need to execute against. And, uh, you know, it's more about us than it is the other team. After the Duquesne game, you said you liked that they kind of pushed it a little bit. You said you were going to look forward to kind of watching that on film, seeing how you guys stacked yeah. up. What were your thoughts on that? How did you handle it? And did you learn going forward from what you saw? Yeah, I mean, we didn't. Half the time we were getting back, but we weren't watching ball man, and they were just throwing over top. So, we, you know, it's just a matter of getting back and commu communicating a little better. And then there was a couple times two people had the same person back and left uh, one of their shooters wide open. So, the, and, and again, it's just about communication. And all those things are correctable. I mean, they're all correctable. But most of our problems are communication and, and stuff like that, especially with the younger players. Facing a smaller lineup like this, does anything change defensively for you guys in the game? Well, they have a player, sometimes they play her at the five, and I forget her number, but she'll pick and pop, which will create a little bit of problem for us. But, you know, we, we can make adjustments that we can always go smaller. Crystal Leary and, and, and switch at. I mean, so we're not going to let it be a big problem, but you know, it will be a problem for our, our bigger players like Lene Montgomery and that. Your size could be a, a big problem for them. Uh, if, if you could talk about that a little bit, and when we talked last time, you guys weren't number one in the country yet in blocks. Now you are. Just what you've been able to do defensively and and the size you have down Well, I think the, the reason why we've been so effective blocking shots is little Nate Montgomery. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's getting to the ball very, very well right now. She, she's coming to the ball very well, and she's not fouling. She's going straight up and that type of stuff. So, you know, as long as, you know, to me, all the block shots we're having is because of her. Have you seen offensive change their approach because of what Lene is doing down there? Not, not, not so much. Okay. Not so much. But... One thing we've done with Lene, we've cut down all the driving because Lene's getting to the ball. <laughs> and, you know, that's good and bad. Lene's getting to the ball, but we're not rotating from the top down. I mean, Lene comes over and helps somebody else. Well, somebody's got to help Lene mm -hmm. on her man. And, and that's where we got to get better at. You know, she helps, we got to help. Top person got to help her man. And that's one of the reasons why we lost at Mississippi State because Lene came over and blocked a lot of shots or they dished to the, her man when she came over and we weren't dropping with that player. So th those are areas, you know, correctable, but we got to get better at it. Linda's been assisting a ton, but scoring has been kind of hit or miss with her. So facing a smaller lineup, do you expect maybe a little bit more offensively from her? You know, Linda can score. Linda can score. It's up to Linda. You know, I mean, she has the green light. I don't say a word to Linda about any shot she takes, or anything like that. So, you know, it's a mentality, you know, and we've given her a green light. So. If Linda wants to come out and score 15, she can come out and score 15 if she wants to. Uh, but she's a very unselfish player, uh, gets everybody involved, and, and gets the ball where it needs to be. You know, Linda's smart enough to know who should have the ball in critical situations, and that's a sign of a good point guard. It sounds like you were saying the same things about Avery two days ago. Do you challenge Linda the same day or the same way that you challenge Avery, or do you kind of leave her more to her herself? I, I challenge, I've, I've challenged Linda for four years, to be honest <laughs> with you. But Linda, you know, some people have the scoring mentality, some people don't. And her playing point guard her whole life, you know, she's kind of always got people involved. So, But I like what Linda's doing. She's penetrating. She's doing a lot of great things. And Avery, you know, like I said, uh, you know, you look at her stats first half the other night, it's ridiculous. Senior player with her caliber of talent. And in the second half, you can see what Avery can do. Avery, Avery can score. Avery can rebound. Avery can pass. She can dribble it. She can do a lot of things.